Good morning, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning into Prayer and Prophetic Friday. Hallelujah. Thank God so much for you. I love you and I appreciate each and every one of you for joining me every Friday that Father blesses me to come on. Good morning, lady. Good morning. It's such a joy to be with you this morning. And I want to, as always, you know, have to start off with a scripture, right? So I want to go to Psalms. Good morning, my big sister. I want to go to Psalms. Psalms 101. Actually, Psalms 100, actually. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Amen. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name, for the Lord is good. His mercy endureth forever. Amen. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am so happy. For you to be a part of this, amen. I'm so happy. Because Hop is always doing great things. We've just got to go into it, flow into it, move into it, amen. we got to be ready for whatever he has for us. Allow your hearts to be open this morning. Allow your spirit, man, good morning, to be open this morning. Allow your, oh, 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 oh. Oh, allow the peace of God to just begin to flow into you this morning. Hallelujah. I'm thankful. What about you? I'm thankful that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, he is our father. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that he is the one that says, I know what I'm thinking about you. Oh, I want to do you good. Amen. Amen. Oh, I want to do good to you. Hallelujah. So, King, we come this morning in this time that you have made available to us to come before you and say, thank you. Oh, we are so grateful. We're grateful that you allowed us to be right here, right now, as a group coming to say thank you. As a group come to say, hey, we love you, King. We're coming to say, we want what you want. Our hearts are open to whatever you want to speak to us this morning. Our hearts are open to whatever you want to decree and declare in our lives. We are open. We are so open. We're open for what you desire. We know what our desires may be, King, but thy kingdom come. Oh, your will be done in us, Father. Your will be done in us. Your will, your thoughts, your plans, your purpose, whatever you choose to do this morning, we say yes and amen to it. We say yes and amen to whatever it is that you choose to do. Oh, I love me some Jesus this morning. I don't know about you. I love Jesus. I love him with all that's in me. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Abba, we're yielded. Abba, we're yielded. Abba, we're yielded to whatever you want to do. We're yielded. Our hearts are open to you. Our minds are open to you. Our will is that your will be done. Come on. Our will is that his will would be done. Oh, Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for moving. Thank you for operating. Thank you for showing yourself strong. Thank you for proving yourself time and time and time again. When we think it's not going to happen, you show up. You show up in every little small thing and everything. We be looking for the big father, but you said, hello, I'm in the still small voice. Hallelujah. Thank you, King. Thank you. Come on right there. Thank you. 
Come on, give him thanks. Come on, y'all. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Oh, come on, give him some thanks this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Abba. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> we give you thanks this morning. We come giving you thanks this morning. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Oh, Abba, we're thankful. Oh, we're thankful. We are so thankful to you, Father. We're thankful that you brought us into this hour, into this moment, in this time right here. We're grateful that you, oh, Father, made it available, the opportunity that I can come and say thank you. I can join those that are in the moment right here in this time saying, oh, 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 thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, because you didn't have to cover us. You didn't have to keep us. You did not have to guard us. You didn't have to watch over us. You did not have to. We only boast in your goodness. Come on. We only boast in his greatness. We only boast in him. Come on. We only boast in the king. It's not by our might nor by our power. But we recognize, Father God, that it's your spirit that is doing the work in our lives. According to, according to Zechariah 4 and 6, we recognize that it is you, God, that saved us. It is you, God, that said, I want you to be made whole. And you dealt with our bodies. You worked in our spirit man. You wanted our spirit man to be healed. And you healed us. Oh, oh, come on, I need the army. Woo. Come on, you healed the wounds. Father, that was so deep. He's talking this morning. Somebody, yeah. He's healed those wounds that were so deep. Father, the wounds that we thought that we would never get over, the words that were said, the things that were done, but you are our healer. Hallelujah. You're the peace that passes all understanding, and we thank you. You're the one that's guarding our heart and mind right now, and we appreciate you. You're the one that's keeping me even as we're talking, as we're communing, as we're together right now. It's all you. When we didn't think we were going to make it to today, you said, come on now, shake that on off. Shake it off. I'm with you. I will never leave you. I told you I won't forsake you. It's you, Abba. It's all you. You're the one that says hallelujah. I'm the one that's going to keep you in perfect peace. I know chaos may be all around you, but I am your peace. Thank you for being our peace, Father. Thank you for being our peace. Our peace. Oh, hallelujah. Our peace when it seems like trouble. It's trying to show up and, and, and the smallest things, trouble trying to appear. You said, uh-uh, come on. You know I got you. You know you walk in peace. You know it. Hallelujah. Oh, when some nitpicking is going on, Father, when somebody's trying to nitpick at your children, somebody's trying to disrupt the, oh, the peace of your people. You said, uh-uh, not so. I am your peace. Come on, Jesus. You are our peace. I am your peace. I am your peace. Thank you for being our peace. We didn't think we were going to make it, but you said, I got you. I, I got you. I got you. Hallelujah. When we thought last year was going to take us over, we just, oh, Father, we thought that we wasn't going to work, but Father, you always show up every time. You are a you go God. Come on. You show up always. You prove yourself time and time and time again. Because she said, I know what I'm thinking about you. I know what I'm thinking about you. You might not want to believe it. You might be struggling with, is he going to come through? You know I always come through. You go, God. Yes, you do. Come on, guys. He always comes through. He always, oh, Lord, come on, y'all just be real. Come on, tell the king, be real. Tell him, Jesus, you have me sweating bullets, but you come through. Hallelujah. Come on. Yes, he comes through. Oh, and that's what the enemy wants you to think that he's not going to do. He's not going to come through. 
But you got to come on and high. You got to have a, wait a minute, hold up here. Wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold up. I cannot forget. The summit says, when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, hallelujah, my soul. The songwriter said, cries out and shouts, hallelujah, thank God for saving me. When I think about you, Abba, when I think about you, when I think about your love for me, when I think about how you keep me, when I think about how you have sustained me, when I think about when I look like my money was funny and, and it was really funny, Father. Come on, talk to the king. Father, you know my money was funny, but you said, uh-uh, you know, you mine, I got you. Father, you called somebody to give it to me. And I believed what you said. You said, I will cause men to give it to you. So, Father, I thank you. You caused somebody to sow into my life. And I'm grateful for that, Father. Tell him thank you. You gave me favor with the creditors when I didn't think I was going to have favor. Thank you, Father. Thank you. You made people do for me that didn't even like me, Lord. You go, God. I thank you, Father. Come on, tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. And you keep giving me this sweet comfort that I do have you. Come on. He keeps giving me that sweet reminder. He keeps giving you that sweet reminder that all is going to be okay. All is well. All is well. So you got to be like that woman that had the son that the prophet prophesied to and told her she was going to have a son. And she, she told the prophet, look, don't play with me now. Come, don't play with me now. And she had that son. And that son died. But she had the assurance of the word. You shall have a son. So when she ran to that man of God, the man of God said, how's everything going? She had such faith. She said, all is well. Ooh, come on. Whatever you're going through, you got to be bold enough to say, all is well. Why? Because I'm not looking at the things. I'm not looking at what's happening. I'm looking at the one who's already got it already done. All is well. Because I know he's going to raise up whatever the enemy thought he was going to kill off. That the father says it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. All is well. When it looks like your business is not coming the way you thought it was going to happen. When it looks like the money didn't flow like you thought it was going to flow. When it looks like the people on the job just trip all day long. You still got to all is well. Come on. All is well. All is well. Because my father will never leave me. He promised Jesus that I will never forsake you. I will be with you until the end. You can count on me. Come on. Give him a worship. Let's give him some worship this morning. Let's give him some worship. He is due worship. He is due the honor. He's due the worship. He's due the praise. He's due it. Come on, all is well. All is well, all is well. Come on, don't let stress hit your body. Mm -mm. The devil is a liar. Do not let stress come and mess with you. Don't let stress come and hit your body. Uh-uh, all is well. I'm not, I don't walk in stress. I walk in the peace of God. Come on. When your body's saying, what's the, give me a different signs and signals, you got to rest in the king that says, hey, all is well. He sent his word and he healed me. Walk in your healing. Walk in that breakthrough of deliverance. Walk in it that my daughter, my son, my children, my nieces, my nephews are okay. I'm walking in it, Father. We thank you, Father, that your spirit, your spirit, your spirit is in the earth. We thank you, Father, that no matter what it appears to be, you're shaking, you're shaking, you're shaking. Because she said a, a shaking was going to come. But Father, keep your people. Keep your people. Keep our daughters and our sons. Keep our children. Remove the confusion, for, the gender confusion off their hearts and their minds. Oh, you coming to, oh, yeah, you 50s. 
The king is going to disrupt some stuff. You go, God. You better get this woman. And I thank him, Father. Thank you. There's going to be a flow of the anointing. Hallelujah. You better receive that in your home. And, and the flow of the anointing that's going to fill the all oh, going to fill you. Let him fill you. Let him fill you. I hear that too, King. Yeah. You know what? Come on. Ask the king to refresh your spirit, man. Come on. Those of you who are filled with the Holy Spirit and speaking in, in tongues, come on, ask the king to come on, replenish you, refresh you. Hallelujah. Fill you again. Remember, there's one baptism, but many fillings. Oh, my. Oh, my. I love you, Jesus. Come on. I love him. I love him. Oh, I love him. Come on, soundness, soundness. Come on, give another all son. Soundness, soundness. Father, we need sound, 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 a sound, a sound from heaven. We need a sound. Give me soundness. I need a sound mind. I need a sound spirit. Give me soundness. Settle me. If I've been moving too fast, settle me. If I'm just running and running, settle me, kings, settle me. Because I need a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. I need to hear word from the Lord. Hallelujah. I need to hear what you want. I've been laying my plans out before you, King. I've been laying what my ideas out for you, King. But ah, so tonight, I need a word from you. What is it? Let me know if I'm on the right track. Let me know if I need to shift. Let me know I need a word from you. I just need to know. I need to know what you want. Because I don't want to do it my way. I don't want to do it my way. I want your way, your way. Because your ways, hallelujah, I know they're not mine. I know my thoughts are not your thoughts, but I need to hear a word from you. I need to get some clarity in some things that I'm, I'm looking at right now. I need to know, do I go left here? Do I turn at the fork of this road? I need a word from you, King. Hallelujah. That's what some of you are seeking the King for. I'm seeking him because I need to know. I need to know which direction should I go. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Is this going to work? I don't like wasting my time. Come on. Tell the king. King, you know, I want you. I want what you want. Because I don't want to waste the time that you've given me on this earth. I want to fulfill everything that you have ordained for my life. And my sister, Sheila, baby. Oh. I need to tell my sister something right now. The Lord says it is not over. It's not over. I hear the Lord said, oh my God, I hear the word about the brook, the brook, the brook. The brook, it's not over. He said it earlier, some, some time ago when he gave me a word for you and you were here. But the king said, I've given you some instructions to do and you just got to follow. Because Abba is going to open the door for you. Hallelujah. Yeah, you talking to him, you talk, but your conversation is, when God, when, when, the when, remember the when, y'all remember the message two weeks ago, the when, just be obedient. I hear the Lord say, tell her, don't waste no more time, I've given her some things to do. And she keeps saying, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but the king said, oh, you know, you know. Oh, you know. Uh-uh, no argument, don't debate. Mm -mm. You know. Because he's made it plain. He's made it so plain that all you got to do is sit at that desk and do what the king told you to do. Amen. Because he loves you. Hallelujah. It is not over. He said, because if I can, oh, come on, king. He says, if you stay out of that area that you keep going back into that I told you I'm taking care of, you can do some work. Well, it's beautiful. I hear the Lord 
God say, tell her, yes, I am shifting you into the phase of counseling and all of that beautiful thing. And I hear the Lord saying that, ooh, he told me, he said, tell her, tell her, darling. He said that knowledge, that knowledge of, of medicine. Oh, he said, you're trying to suppress it, but it's all in you. It's all in you. He says, all in you. You're trying to suppress it. Mm, mm, mm. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. King's talking. He's even showing me where you just be looking at different stuff. And you be talking about, oh, is this, is this, calling out those medical terms and this and this and this. King said, oh, yeah, it's all in you. And I heard the Lord say, tell her, I have not changed my mind. You are Nurse Jackson. He said, I made you that way. You are that. I haven't changed my mind. I hear the Lord say, tell her, just because you don't want to hear your name called, but you are what I called you. You go, God. You go, God. That's how much he loves you. Don't say, but I don't have this. I don't have that. It doesn't matter what you do or do not have. It's about what he said. And I hear the Lord say, tell her, go off what I say." All right now. And I hear the Lord say, tell her, your daughter, I hear he's because she said, you know how she likes to debate with me? That's what I heard the king say. You know how she likes to debate with me in the conference? And you be having this conversation with Father, and you just, and God, and this, and this, and this. And I hear the Lord say, daughter, and she be throwing things out and from Father, you know this, and this, and this. He said, tell her, I say, just do what I told you to do. You be faithful. Be faithful in what the king has told you. And I hear the Lord, I'm, I'm laughing because King, I hear him laughing. And I hear the Lord say, daughter, you know how she likes to be. I mean, what? What? And he says, you know how she likes to do. Well, I'm doing. And King said, you know and I know she ain't doing. Hey, I got to be real about it because I hear the King talking to me. Oh, but it's going to be good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He has not changed his mind. And you know what? I love the king so much. He said, I'm not going to even let her change her mind. She wants to, but I won't let her. He said, I keep stirring it up at night. Oh my, come on, king. He be stirring you up at night. You, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I say I'm sleeping, but I can't sleep. Mm -hmm. Then some, that's, I hear the Lord say, tell her. That's why she's sleeping throughout, throughout, sleeping during, during the day, throughout the day, because she's so restless at night. I hear the Lord said, if she would just obey me, because King told me, he said, I'll be telling her to get up and go to the office. Get up and go to your office. Get up and go to your office. And here you sit and say, what do I need to go in there for? Oh, yeah. I hear the Lord say, because what is in you is going to roll out of you. I have not changed my mind. Hallelujah, the king has not changed his mind, so you got to be obedient to what he's telling you. Amen? So, come on, let's keep worshiping. Right where you are. Sheila, just follow the king, follow the king, follow the king, follow his plan, follow his will, follow his way, and you're going to see him do his greatest work in your life. Come on. He said, tell her, I know she's concerned about money. She's always concerned about money. <laughs> okay, now I love you. I'm just telling you what the king said, okay? He said, tell her, I know that. He said, but tell her she's walking out. And I hear the Lord say, you just doing a lot of reminiscing. He said, tell her she's just reminiscing about this, reminiscing about that. Mm. Send me a hug. You need a hug. All right, I ain't going to tell all your business, girl. All right. Let God do it in you. Let Father work out his will in your life. Let the peace of God rule your heart. Come on, let the peace of God guard your mind. Let the peace of God operate in your spirit. Let the peace of God, let the peace of God generate your soul. Hallelujah. Mm. All right now. Okay. Now, there was a lady on here. I got to find her. Oh, my God. You guys, I'm loving Jesus this morning. How about you? Yeah. 
Healing in your body, healing in your soul, healing in your spirit. Receive the healing. Receive the regeneration. Receive the peace. Receive the joy. Receive the love. Receive what King has for you. Mm. Now, receive it. Come on, just receive. He knows the thoughts and plans he's thinking about you. He knows that you're concerned. He knows what you got going on in your life. He knows what you're worried about. He knows what you need. He knows, he knows, he knows. He knows. He knows. See, let me tell y'all something. Some of you, you don't always wake up like this, but sometimes you do. You wake up with this stuff on your mind. I hear the Lord say, tell him, success. Success is yours. Success is already yours. Oh, oh, the lady Dolores. Dolores Washington. Father, bless you. Father, bless you, bless you. My sister, it reminded me of who you were. Oh, come on, come on, come on. God bless you. Receive, receive. You're a praying lady. You're a praying woman. Oh, he loved, oh, I'm sending you a hug. Dolores Washington, I'm sending you a hug. King loves you. He loves you. Oh, man. You be encouraged. All right. Oh, man. You've been a hard worker all your days. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord tell me, he said, don't tell her, because he's telling me that it has not been easy. I hear my Lord say, but tell her, daughter, but you pressed in, and you pressed in, you pressed in, and you pressed in. You pressed in. Ain't been easy. You pressed in. It hasn't been easy. People ain't, you know, it's something folk won't listen to you. It's something when people won't hear you. And some when people dismiss you. And some when they dismiss you and think, oh, you know, it ain't working. The devil telling you ain't it, it ain't working, but it's gonna work. It's you know, we talked. We talked. It's gonna work. It's gonna be okay. Everything you need. It's already done. Everything that you're concerned about, bless your heart. You know what? And that's what I'm saying. People, you stop, don't allow anybody to make you dismiss you. Say my voice matters because your voice does matter. Don't let nobody downplay you, lady. You matter to the king. You matter to the king. That's all that matters. Is that you know, hey, I matter. Amen. That's all. You're going to be okay. So no stressing, lady. You got to stop. Do not stress. Don't stress. All is well. All is well. I know you are. All is well. It's going to be okay. Oh, Lord. Sending you a hug. You need it. You need it. Oh, lady. Don't let nobody weigh you down. Because just like the king said, weights. Weights. Don't weigh you down. Don't weigh you down by thinking. You, you process. You think. You think. You think. Don't weigh you down by thinking. Amen. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, the Bible says. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? He's the Lord strong and mighty. He's the Lord mighty and battle. 
Sister Shaquilla told me, yeah, we talk. Yeah. Now, be encouraged. That's all I want you to do is be encouraged. Now, you guys, I want to pray for you. Now, King, y'all, just worship him. Just worship him right where you are. Come on, just worship him right where you are. He needs a hallelujah and a thank you. He don't need it. He wants it. Give him that I love you. I praise you. I bless you. I thank you. Thank you for letting me know that I matter. Thank you for letting me know that I'm still your child. Thank you for letting me know that all oh, it's going to be okay. Thank you for letting me know this is going to be the greatest year I've ever been in. Come on. This is no matter what may be happening, no matter what the shaking may be like, I am going to flow in blessings. And I thank you. This is my year of increase. This is my year. You called to men to do great things and pour into me. And I, ooh, I hear the Lord say, tell them to plug in, plug in, plug into me, plug into me. This year, make sure you are plugged into the king. This year, more than you ever have been, stay plugged into the king. Decree in your home. Decree in your family. I decree we're not, we not going to be dealing with no financial issues. I decree that we're not going to be dealing with this. I decree my, my body is going to stay whole. I decree that I will not see lack. I decree. Come on. Speak. Speak what you want to see. I decree all is well. I decree no more shaking. I'm not going to be shaking in my faith. I'm not going to be wavering in my faith. I'm going to be cemented. I decree that I am cemented in faith. I'm cemented in trust. I decree that no matter what, I have all things that the king has for me. He's already given it to me. So I'm not going to be shaking. He's given me everything that pertains to life and godliness. He's already given it to me. Come on, come on, come on. You got to do it. We're making some declarations this morning. He's already given it to me. I'm not going to be shaken in mind. I'm not going to waver. I'm not going to be double-minded. I already have it. Come on. Second Peter says, and verse number one, Second Peter 1 and verse 3 says, According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue, I have it. I have it. He's already given it to me. He's already given it to me. I'm going to stop begging him for him when I already got it. Come on. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm debt free. Come on. This is the time of being debt free. We're going to be debt free. I'm debt free. I am debt free, Lord. You done paid that off. Start calling out the things that King has paid off. You done paid off my car. You done paid off my house. You done paid this off. You done paid off the credit cards. You done paid these off. I am debt free. You got to be bold now. You got to be bold. You got to be bold. I'm debt free. Got money in the bank. I decree it. Got money in the bank. I decree it. I got money in my hands. I decree it. I decree I am debt free and I'm flowing in blessings. Money's coming from the north, the south, the east, and the west. And even as I always say, from up under the ground. Because Father can bring it from any direction. I have it. Come on now. Come on. My bank account is full. I flow in plenty. You got to start saying, I flow in plenty. I flow in it. I'm a giver. So since I give, I am blessed going out and I'm blessed coming back in. I am blessed above measure because I see, I sow, and you will rebuke the devourer for my sake. Come on now. I decree it. Amen. Come on. Father, I'm putting a demand on the seeds that I've sown. 
Hey, come on. I'm putting a demand on every seed I planted. I thank you, Father. It's time for increase. And I thank you that their harvest is manifesting fully. And hallelujah, I will have, I will have a bumper crop. I will have nothing dead. I, my crop is full. Come on. I'm decreeing it. I have a full crop of blessings. Hallelujah. I'm a giver. I'm a sower. I'm a planter. And I have increase. You give seed to the sower, the Bible says, and bread to the eater. So I thank you. I have more seed to sow as I'm increasing and increasing and increasing. I'm going to increase my sowing. Come on. I'm not going to forget to increase my sowing, king. You're not holding back from me, so I won't hold back from you. Come on, you got to make some declarations this morning. I speak a peace to that person who that, who's, see, you can't be stressing because it's messing with your stomach. Come on. Mm -mm. I won't stress. I won't be upset. I'm not going to have an upset stomach. I'm not going to have heartburn, palpitations, none of these things. I'm not going to be walking in anxiety. No, no, no. I do not walk in anxiety. Come on. The king has already worked it. He's already done it. He's already made grace abound toward you greatly. He's already doing his greatest work in your life. You're already, already increasing. You got to see you increasing. Start prophesying to yourself. Father, I'm going to be dreaming about me increasing. I'm going to be dreaming about me sowing into people. I'm going to be dreaming about me giving. Hallelujah. Thank you. And because I belong to you, tell the king, because I belong to you, you're working it out for me. Because I belong to you, it's already done for me. Because I belong to you, I can do all things through Christ that has given me the power to do it. Come on. Speak to your businesses, ladies and gentlemen. Speak to your businesses. Say what they will be. Say what they will be. I see some of you doing it. It will prosper. I will be in demand. Because, oh yeah, y'all in demand. Let the people follow through that have reached out to me. I decree that in Jesus' name. I decree those that have reached out to you, those that have reached out to get more information about your business, those that have reached out to find out more information about you. I thank you. We put a demand on them contacting you. We put a demand on them getting back with you, that they will hire you. Yes, that's happening. It's happening. I overflow in blessings. I overflow in blessings. My business overflows in blessings. Come on. Sister Shakima, you overflow in blessings, baby. Sister Kareem, that's what I'm talking about. You overflow in blessings. People are in demand. You're in demand. You got to say, I'm in, I am in demand. My product is in demand. Amen. My product is in demand. I'm working overtime. That's how in demand I am. Come on, you better say that. Come on, y'all better talk, talk. Your businesses are in demand. You got to begin to speak that. Hallelujah. Because the king is doing a work. All right. You got to be, I'm going to be in, I, you're going to be in need more and more, more and more. My business is going to be in need more and more. Come on. All right now. Say it. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you. Your people, you're causing them to flourish in great ways. That's right. Kayla, amen to that. You're in demand. That's the king. That is all the king. 
And we got to keep on speaking. We got to keep on decreeing. Don't give up on your businesses. Don't get, come on you and speak it, say it, and you will see it. Say I'm going to be traveling. Come on, I'm going to be spreading the news about this business. I got people in demand. They're going to want me more and more. Hallelujah, I'm going to have to hire more people. Come on. I'm in demand. All right now. So, Abba, we thank you. We love you. JLP Ministries is in demand, Father. JLP Ministries is in demand. I speak of a JLP. In demand. Hallelujah. A place of worship is in demand. Come on. You got to speak it. Say it. JLP will be traveling more and more internationally. Yes, I will. Hallelujah. In demand. And thank you, King. Thank you, King. Thank you, King. Yes, you will be, Jessica, baby. You better say a word of that. In demand, honey. Put your name there. I'm in demand. I'm in demand. My product is in demand. My gifting is in demand. Come on. Nobody can do it the way you can. You better speak this thing. I, nobody can speak it the like you can. I am in demand. Nobody can do it the way I can do it. My gift is in demand. Come on. Say it. Say it. And receive it. I'm overbooked. Somebody better say I'm. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, y'all. I'm overbooked. Woo-wee. All right now. All right now. I am overbooked. All right. Oh, we, you got to speak it. You got to believe it. You got to receive it. You got to say it. Hallelujah. Because the king is listening. I'm decreeing a thing. I'm decreeing it and I believe it's going to be established. I decree and I believe. Amen. Praise God. Angie Easter, God bless you. Thank you for planting seed into JLP Ministries. God, you are in demand, lady. Amen. You're in demand. Your gift is making room for you right now. You're in high demand. And you are overbooked. Let Jesus do it for you. Come on. Hallelujah. Yeah, I, I hear that. Father, well, Berna, you are so in demand. I'll tell you about the tax service. Come, come on. Hello. All the books, baby. Y'all better listen to this woman of God. Y'all in demand. I don't care what it looks like. See, I hear the Lord talking to me now. He says, tell him, daughter, tell him. You got to see yourself in demand. You got to see that you got, don't call it my little business. You know, this is my little business. Yeah, I do this little business on the side. No. Mm -mm. Speak what it is. Come on. Say what it is. Nothing's little in the eyes of the king. Come on. Nothing's little in the eyes of the king. How do you see it? Come on, how do you see it? When Jesus healed that blind man's eyes, he asked him, how, how do you, what do you see? What do you see? He said, I see men as trees. The power of God was so strong on him. Jesus, the power that Jesus laid them hands on those eyes and they were so strong. He said, I see men as trees. Jesus said, come on, let me, let, let, me, let me fix this. Let me adjust your vision, baby. You're in that much of a demand. 
Hallelujah. You ain't that much of a man. Come on. That's how great the demand is for you. It's big. It's big. And you got to say, it is big. I'm in demand. My, it's just big. I hear the Lord say, see, if, and I hear Father tell me, he said, tell him, I got an extension. There's an extension. My, my business is so big, it's extending. It's extending and it's expanding. Come on. Say that, Will. It's big. And listen to this woman of God. It is so. There's some things that are going to be happening that you are going to be needed. I'm telling you. People are going to be, oh, I, I, I'm telling you what the Lord is telling you. There are going to be big businesses that are not going to be able to do what they used to do. And they're going to be looking for smaller businesses to be able to do what they need. You're going to be in demand. Big businesses are going to say, look, no, this overhead is too big. we got to find a company that's smaller that can help us, that can do this. But see, do you, they look as small as far as the size, but you big. They're going to be needing some hands-on and not a whole lot of got to go through these loopholes, got to go here, got to go here and get the thing done. You are going to be that one. If you believe, receive. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Ooh, come on, Jesus. I hear the Lord say, don't want to tell them the big business is going to be doing a lot of cutting back. And so they're going to be looking for other ways and avenues to get their product done. You in demand, y'all. But hear me. You in demand. Hallelujah. You go, God. You go, God. You go, God. Come on. Receive that in Jesus' name. Now, Father, the peace of God, thank you for working in your people. Thank you for believing, Father, the people believing that it is so. Thank you that they're stepping out in faith and they're, they're activating their faith and they're putting their name out there. They're putting their business cards out there. They're reaching, they're communicating, they're emailing, they're texting, they're doing whatever they got to do. They're working it. Thank you for them being into me. And so, Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the peace that rests over your people. We thank you no fear, no fear, no fear. Mm-hmm, I heard that too. Your price is your price. Y'all hear me? That's how valuable you are. Your price is your price. Amen. Don't be afraid to quote a price. When you got favor, Father, make them pay. Y'all hear this woman? Amen. Yes, you will. So don't be fearful. Because you you give your you give the best of you you give the best of you. Receive 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 you give the best of you. Your quality. Somebody say I'm quality. I'm quality. And because you quality, baby, they got people pay for quality. Hello, just say, Hallelujah. Thank God for you. Equality. People pay for quality. You better say that. They do. You produce quality. So people are going to pay for quality. All right. You don't do shortcuts. Huh? Come on, y'all. I'm, I'm just hearing some stuff flowing out of my spirit. You don't do shortcuts. You value your product just that much that, hey, I don't do shortcuts. You've got to pay for quality. Somebody said, well, can you do it? Can you? No, I'm quality. 
This is my price. Don't see it. They gonna pay it. You go, King. So, Father, bless your people this morning. Let them have a great day, a great weekend, Father. Flow greatly in their lives. No fear, no worries, no frustrations. You are working in their lives, and they're going to see the abundant flow. They're going to see it, and they're going to walk out what you've already worked out. You're causing men, again, I say, to give in to them. People looking for people with quality and, and thinking that the name is coming to the top. The name is rising to the top. They're being referred because they're quality. Hallelujah. Meticulous. I heard another word, y'all. Meticulous. Some of you are meticulous in what you, meticulous in what you do. Yes, you are. So great. <laughs> you go, King. Thank you in Jesus' name. And we call for greater blessings and peace in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you guys so very much, and I am so thankful for you joining me this morning. I am so thankful. I really, really am. And you be encouraged because all is well. And remember, JLP Ministries TV. On YouTube, share it, share it, tag, share, tell people about it so they can keep coming in and, and being enriched and being blessed. Amen. Thank God for you. Tell them about it. This late, oh Lord Jesus. Pamela Rose Evans. Stay seated, baby. God keeps bringing that back up when I see your name. Stay seated. Hey, don't forget to join me Sunday at a place of worship church. If you're in the Dallas area, come visit us, 1704 Northampton Road, Suite 208 in DeSola, Texas. We have a blast at a place of worship. I'm telling you, Father was showing up. He was speaking and talking on this past Sunday. We're like, woo, you go, God. Amen. Pastor Ellie Price is the pastor. And man, God be using that man. Y'all better come on to hear this man of God. And I'd be with you Wednesday. Every Wednesday, Father makes available. If I'm not taking a break, I'm going to be with you. And I thank you for joining me. And you guys, do me a favor. Give somebody a hug of love or encouragement today. Put your... Let your discernment be up, okay? Discern people today. Somebody that might need a hug, a, a little encouragement. Take the time to say, be encouraged. All right? I love you guys, and I will be with you on Wednesday. For those of you who are going to join us Sunday at 1045, I will see you Sunday. Amen. Love you. Stay encouraged. Sending you some hugs. Bye-bye.